Welcome, everybody, to today's Healthy Hustle. This is Kevin Larson, your Vice President here at New Earth. And I'm excited for the topic we have to share with you today because I don't know about you, but I'm finding it really hard to believe that we are a full week into December already. I mean, where did the year go? It's incredible. With the holiday season in full swing, many of us are beginning to think about the new year and what it may have in store for us. And naturally, as we close out one year and open another, we all tend to reflect on the past year and how we're going to make the coming year even better. Maybe you want to lose a few pounds, earn some extra money, take your dream vacation, spend more time with family. It's a great one. Or something else entirely. And of course, we are all in the habit of calling these goals New Year's resolutions. As we all know, the running joke year after year seems to be about resolutions and how quickly so many of them come to an end, right? Some of us, that happens so quickly, we just stop doing it. Studies show that only 25% of resolutions stick for more than 30 days. And only 8% of resolutions, the people that make them, they accomplish their goals at the end. So why is that? One word, I think, covers it. Mindset. More often than not, your mindset determines whether or not you're going to stick to a resolution that you set. Truthfully, with the wrong mindset, Many resolutions are lost before the New Year is even set in motion. Honestly, probably within 48 hours. With that in mind, I wanted to take some time early this month to help you anchor a positive mindset, to help you see success with your health goals in 2023, and then through the rest of the month. We'll dive into a few specific healthy resolutions and other tips you things that can help you out once the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve. So whether you're feeling excited or overwhelmed or a bit of both, with a quick approach of the new year here in a few weeks, there are some simple tips and tricks that you can use throughout the process of choosing a resolution to help make sure you pick something that will stick. So let's take a look at a few of my favorites. Okay. Number one, just reflect. Take the time to reflect on this last year. What did you enjoy? What did you not care for? Were there times that you felt really great, healthy, and well? Were there times that you felt poorly? And what caused those rough patches? May have been something you couldn't control. Acknowledging the good and the bad is an important practice of self-evaluation and help you to continue growing, right? A good resolution should be based on nurturing and building on good practices and recognizing and purging negative practices, right? That's all it is. Out with the bad, in with the good. So another thing you can do is be realistic. Pick something that's going to challenge you, but is also going to be achievable for you. You know yourself better than anyone else knows you. You want to feel motivated, right? Not overwhelmed. There's a fine line between choosing a goal you know you can accomplish and choosing one that is going to take too much time and be out of your reach. And crossing that line can lead to you breaking under the pressure of your own design. In other words, Feeling overwhelmed with your resolution can stop motivation dead in its tracks. So being honest about what you truly want and what is achievable with the time that you have will help you reach your goals. Like I said, you know yourself better than anyone else. So choose a goal that fits you and you just might surprise yourself and what you're capable of. Another way is to outline your plan. The best resolutions and goals come with a plan. I mean, how else could you expect to accomplish them? The last thing you want to do is go into the new year completely blind. Instead, give yourself a heads up for what you're expecting 
for the coming year, right? So, something to reflect on that we talked about at the beginning. So here's how. Create a broad plan for the entire year. If you think that's hard, make it broader. It won't be. And your goals that you can return to for guidelines throughout those months. And once you have that outline, use the three to five rule to help you work through your plan by answering the following question. What do I need to do in the next three to five months, three to five days, three to five, sorry, three to five weeks, three to five days, and three to five minutes to stick to my resolution, reach my goals, right? Keep them present in your mind. Another one is to track your progress. With a plan set out for the year, you can keep track of your progress and make sure you're moving closer to your goal. So if you stray away, you'll know where you fell off and can hop right back on. Having the plan that breaks the ultimate goal into smaller pieces allows you to visualize success step by step. Makes it a lot easier. And of course, I think you should reward yourself. When you reach a goal or a milestone in your journey, go ahead, reward yourself. This can be as simple as a, a pat on the back or as specific as a new piece of workout gear or a new piece of clothing, right? It just needs to be something that you will look forward to. It might not be on the timeline exactly, but as long as the goal is met, finding a way to reward yourself is going to help you stay motivated to push even further. And it's imperative that you stay positive. It can be very easy to fall into a negative mentality, especially when things don't go according to plan. The most important thing is to roll with the punches. Life is messy. It's full of surprises and not all of them are great. You're going to find obstacles you'll need to sidestep and hurdles you'll have to jump from time to time. So just remember, continuing to put one foot in front of the other is going to get you where you're going. Being behind, missing a day is better than just giving up completely. You are going to reach your goals. You just need to stay positive and believe in yourself. And I, I would even say bet on yourself right? Treat it like that. It's a bet that you can control who wins. And you're betting on yourself. With these tips and tricks in mind, you can choose a New Year's resolution that's made specifically for you, for your goals, for your timeline, something that you want. And know that you can do it. The resolution you choose this year won't be based on a wild dream or a lost cause. Rather, it's going to be built on a foundation of achievable steps that are going to help lead you to a healthier, happier you. And with that, I'd encourage you to spend a little time over the next few weeks implementing some of those tips so that you can set yourself up for success by choosing the right resolution for you so that you can win. Whatever winning might be in your mind, that's what I want for you. That's what I want for all of us. And with that, thank you for joining me on the Healthy Hustle today. We really do appreciate it that you see these and participate in these. Please share them with a friend, and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.